Good morning, my name is Sam Taherian. Actually, I'm with uh, Texas A&M University. I'm a researcher there. We, Dr. Alvarado and I, collaborate with Dr. Thies from Thies Technology. Uh, we work on the heat transfer characterization of the MPCM, or micro-encapsulated phase change material, slurry. Uh, the goal is to save energy. Heat transfer fluids are used in uh, many processes involved heat transfer, any thermal process from small scale to large scale, from cooling electronics to power plants or refineries. We all know that there is a huge amount of heat transfer involved in phase change. But the problem with changing phase in a heat transfer fluid is uh, there are lots of problems changing from uh, solid to liquid or liquid to vapor. What this technology does is gives you the benefit of phase change, but it encapsulates the phase change material, uh, micro-encapsulated into small capsules so that you can disperse it in the base fluid, which can be water, which we know water is an excellent heat transfer fluid, but it has its own limitations and restrictions. So you can have benefit of uh, phase change material, the large heat capacity involved with phase change, and you also have the ability to flow it and pump it through piping system or heat exchangers. The challenge is to uh, produce stable uh, MPCM slurry, uh, which does not break in pumping system or uh, uh, tubing system. It can be used, as I said, in many processes involving heat transfer in heat exchangers, which are widely used in many industries. Uh, when, when the heat transfer is, uh, the heat flux is large, we need to pump a large amount of heat transfer fluid, which consumes a lot of energy for pumping. So if we can have high heat capacity, then we can reduce the the volume or the mass of the heat transfer fluid that uh, is used in the pumping system. And at the same time, it can uh, provide the same amount of heat transfer that we require. It can be used in almost any kind of heat exchanger, uh, commercially available heat exchanger. What we have done by testing uh, this technology is that we found that uh, the MPCM that is produced by TIS technology, the MPCM slurry is uh, very durable. It can be stable in prolonged pumping systems. And um, the heat transfer coefficient, one important point is that the we know that water is an excellent uh, heat transfer fluid, but heat transfer coefficient for the MPCM slurry is almost equal to water when phase change is happening. And it, another uh, important thing about this uh, new heat transfer fluid is that it can be custom made to order for the user. For example, if a certain user needs to have high uh, heat transfer at a like 25 degrees C, we can uh, change the process so we can produce high heat transfer values at that particular uh, temperature. Uh, another thing is that uh, it doesn't the new MPCM slurry does not produce foam, which is not good for heat transfer if we have foam or bubbles. And it does not phase separate or cream, or it does not accelerate cor uh, corrosion in piping systems. And the cost is also acceptable. Right now, the, uh, the main use of the MPCMs is 
The obvious use is in uh, adding it to the wallboard in houses to increase the heat capacity of wallboards to reduce the fluctuation, temper, uh, temporal fluctuation. But we are working on a, 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 another challenge, which is to use it as a heat transfer fluid that is actually flowing inside piping systems. Uh, basically, this technology is experienced in microencapsulation in general. Microencapsulation technology uh, can be used in several applications, not just heat transfer. And uh, Dr. Thies has about like uh, 30 years of experience, research and development experience with uh, phase change materials. And uh, let me just uh, show you the amount of funding that has been gone into this technology so far from U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, from NSF, from California Energy Commission. And another proposal is being prepared right now. And this nice lady is approaching me. Uh, this is not my area of expertise. You should talk to Dr. Thies about the financial issues. And it can be the, co uh, the cooperation with the investor can be through licensing and uh, sale of uh, know-how for heat transfer fluids or generally uh, the micro-encapsulation technology for uh, other uses. It even has use in agricultural uh, sector. Uh, I'm in booth 612, and uh, you can talk to Dr. Thies, and if you have any questions about the technical matters, I will be there and happy to answer your questions. Thank you.